On this video, I am going to educate you on COVID-19, what we know, the impact on African-American communities, and what to do. Hi, my name is Naomi. I am a licensed clinical social worker. On this channel, I teach about psychotherapy and what you can do to improve your thoughts, feelings, and behavior. If you are new here, consider clicking the subscribe button below. It's free. Then you'll be, oh, wait a minute. Also click that little bell. Then you will be notified when I upload the new weekly video. COVID-19 or coronavirus. Crazy. That's some crazy stuff, people. Ooh. It has connected the whole wide world. Wow. And everything has slowed down. The earth was even healing itself as a result of everybody slowing down and turning off. So what is it? If you haven't heard already, the World Health Organization says it is an infectious disease caused by a family of viruses that affects the respiratory system, the ability to breathe. That's what our respiratory system is. That's life, like choking or suffocating you. That's what coronavirus does. If you can't breathe, you die. We're not trying to die. I know I'm not trying to die. Well, I guess some people are, but I'm not in that category because I'm healthy. You can watch my video number two and learn about the importance of breathing beyond just staying alive. A positive word about the virus from the World Health Organization is that about 80% recover from the disease without the need for hospitalization. Hmm. I know that makes me feel better. How about you? Does it make you feel better? Let me know in the comments. What do we know? It spreads through droplets from the nose and the mouth. Coughing, <coughs> sneezing, <coughs> too. Talking, you know, because some of us you know, talk with spit and you know them, you, you know who that person is. You come close to them and they're spitting on you and you don't want to say anything. And then you think about the prayer lines. Ooh. If you went to some churches, there were ministers who would pray for you and, and they spit on you. And, and I, I know they didn't mean any harm. Now, you know, you know, somebody who talks and just spits, just, you know, sprays you. Okay. So we have to be careful of those people during this time. Now, the virus can live on metal, glass, and plastics for up to three days, three days. In low temperature areas, it can remain for up to 28 days. So if you have a pantry that is cool and you keep extra food in there, that the virus can live in there longer. It is airborne. Airborne is the main way the virus is transmitted. It's in the air. It's in the air, what we breathe. That's the reason for the mass. What groups are most vulnerable or sensitive to the virus? Those who have asthma, diabetes, high blood pressure, heart disease, and older people, they are more vulnerable. And because African-Americans frequently have those disorders, according to an article in the American Journal of Public Health dated August 2020, that is one reason that African-Americans or we are at greater risk than others for getting the virus. Wow, my ethnicity, I'm afraid for us. According to Johns Hopkins University, and the American Community Survey, the death rate in predominantly black counties in the US is six times higher. Wow. Six times higher than the rate in predominantly white counties. That is scary. What do we do? Follow the directions. <laughs> We're going back to the things we learned as children regarding cleanliness and germs. Wash your hands often. Use soap and water or an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. 
And some people are singing one round of happy birthday to you <laughs> so that you spend that time in the water washing your hands with soap so that you get the germs off. Wipe down surfaces more frequently with soap and water, especially heavily used areas, doorknobs, sink knobs, stair rails, countertops, refrigerator doors, light switches, cell phones, remote controls. Wipe them down so that we're not spreading or getting receiving germs. Avoid touching your eyes, especially with unwashed hands. Now, you know growing up that you heard your mother or your father or auntie say that or your grandmother. Stop wiping your eyes. Take your hands off your face. Those are the things we need to do now so that we're not spreading and receiving the virus. Cover your cough or your sneezes with a tissue or cough into your elbow. Those are good hygiene activities that we need to be doing on a regular basis, even if COVID-19 wasn't here. Avoid close contact with people displaying symptoms of the illness. This includes mild to severe symptoms of cough, fever, difficulty breathing. Sounds like a cold, doesn't it? It sure does. Stay at home when you are sick so you don't pass along your germs to others. It may not be the virus, but you have other things going on and nobody wants your germs. Oh, no, not at all. Here are a few of the new behaviors due to COVID. Now the stuff I just spoke about is just stuff we should be doing regularly. But you know, you go to the restroom and you see people walking out, you know they were in the stall. You know, you heard them pull that toilet tissue down <laughs> and then they got up and walked out of the restroom. That is nasty dirty. Okay, now those people, mm, they are more sensitive to spreading. They've made it this far with all those germs they've spread out. So they may not be receiving it, but they may be those giving the disease. So be leery of them, watch out for them. Okay, here are the new behaviors due to COVID. Wear face mask to protect yourself and others because it has been confirmed that people are getting it from the air. So the face mask provides a filter. The masks are especially important. If you're learning something on this video, please hit the like or thumbs up button to let me know. We must also use social distancing. We need to remain six feet or at least two arms length away from others. We must keep our children at home. For parents, this may be challenging for various reasons. Now, if you have children who are practicing disobedience, this will be especially challenging because before you know it, they have snuck out of the house and gone down to Bam Bams after you told them, do not leave out of this house. Now, if they are of an age that they can be safe alone in public, you may want to lock the door so that you can meet them at the door when they return. Why are you meeting them? Because you have some Lysol or some something that you're going to spray them down, not in their faces, not in their mouths, but you're going to spray down their hair. I spray down my hair every day when I come in from being outside because of, of the ethnicity that I am. I don't wash my hair every day. So I spray my hair down, I spray down my body, I spray down everything that I have with me. I spray the bottom of my shoes because I'm spraying off, hopefully, any part of COVID-19 that I may have come in contact with. Then I immediately go and take a shower. So you want to meet your children at the door and you want to make sure that maybe you're, they're taking their clothes off and putting it, putting it in a bag or you have a direct path with maybe something down, paper down, I don't know, some, some, something down that you can easily clean so that they can walk right to the, to the bathroom and they can shower and you can take their clothes and put them in the wash or hang them out for the sun to burn, kill any possibilities of the virus. So you want to have a plan when they return. If they are not safe to be in the community, due to age or something else, 
go find them at Bam Bam's house and let those people know that your child wanders from house to house. So they need to be careful with whatever germs the child is carrying. It may not be COVID-19, but it may be something else because you are the parent and you are wondering about letting them back into your own home because you don't know what germs they're bringing. Yes, you have to let your child back into your home. You're just saying that to others and for your child to hear so that all will be alerted and concerned about the spread of this virus. Then perhaps they will send your child home the next time your child arrives at their door without permission, right? We will talk more about parenting at another time when you return. Now, social distancing and remaining home are two things to prevent the virus. However, many African Americans have jobs that expose them to the public. If we work in fast food, if we work in restaurants, if we work in healthcare, I work in healthcare, we are exposed to the public regularly. And who can just stay home without negative financial consequences? Don't you think I would keep my behind at home if I didn't have to go to work? <laughs> yes, I sure would. But I, got to, but I have to pay bills. So I'm going to work if they're going to allow me. Many African Americans live in crowded or multi-generational homes. Or we live in the projects. Or we live in housing where there's a lot of us in apartment complexes. And historically, due to the harm imposed on African Americans at the hands of our country, many of us have learned to distrust the government and the healthcare system. So we don't believe what is being said about this COVID-19. We think it's all fake news or another conspiracy. You don't have to believe, but you've got to be careful because you could die or you could expose someone in your family and they die. Do you want to take that risk? Hmm. Now I understand your pain because I have my own pain. All of those instructions cramp my style. I speak with facial expressions as you may have noticed <laughs> and I smile. I smile a lot. First, I can't breathe. I'm suffocating with those masks on and I don't know if it's claustrophobia or what, but I'm suffocating. I was in a waiting room. I, I had to see the doctor and I was sitting in the waiting room. I had to go out a few times so that I could get some air outside because you're sitting in the waiting room and you got this social distancing and I can't breathe. So I had to go outside. <laughs> Can you relate to what I'm saying? Let me know in the comments. Give me some suggestions because we've got to wear the mask because that is what is filtering the virus from us and from us giving it to someone else. Then I am also that person who's talking to your child if you have one and they're small. I'm making facial expressions and I'm making them laugh and then you look around and it's me or I'm smiling at you. So I never say a word to anyone but my face is talking. Now that my face is covered, I just look like a stranger staring, which equals stranger danger. So I must remember that my face is covered. Well, I can't breathe, so it's not too hard to forget. I can't breathe, but I want, I have this, this desire to interact and I can't. So it's cramping my style. Now I was at the grocery store standing in, in this long line because of social distancing, looking around to see what else I could spend money on. Mask on and six feet away from the woman behind me. I made the comment to her, you know, a little loud. I'm looking around to see what else I can spend money on. She gave me an odd look, then commented, that is their intention to get us to spend more money. We shared an awkward chuckle, then I moved forward in the line. By the time I got to the cashier, that woman behind me was 20 feet away. She had not moved from the original spots since I had spoken to her. I didn't know whether to laugh out loud or to be offended. She looked at me and thought I might have the COVID virus. I had reason to be offended, right? You understand, right? No, that's the wrong answer. <laughs> what am I, too nice to give or get COVID? I'm African American, more of us are getting it. More of us are dying from it too, but more of us are getting it for various reasons. 
This virus doesn't care who I am, doesn't care that I have a nice smile and that I'm not trying to offend. Because that would mean that you are too young or too strong or maybe you're too healthy to get or give the coronavirus. No, those thoughts are too stupid. And the reason the virus keeps spreading. Let's be safe and follow the directions. Don't be offended. I'm speaking to myself too. Remember what I said I was thinking earlier? <laughs> We're just gonna learn and grow together about this virus because we need each other to get through this. We need the motivation, we need the support. We need the kind words to get us through this. Okay, on the next video, I will give you some unofficial COVID tips. Well, I've enjoyed our time together. If you have too, consider clicking the subscribe button below and press that little bell. Oh, and if you like the video, click that thumbs up to let me know that you enjoyed it. Until next time, live healthy in your whole being, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Bye-bye.